So in this video we're going to look at uh, one of the problems from mini weekly assignment 5 and um, what we're going to do in this video is uh, we're going to solve how to generate a deck of playing cards and um, what I have over here is a is a snapshot of the all the 52 cards uh, in the playing deck and um, so you can one way to think about this is uh, uh, so I have my four different suits here and uh, this is I believe my uh, this is my club lawyer and um, here I've got my hearts and I believe these oh sorry these are my spades here so these are my spades these are my spades hearts clubs and uh, I've got my diamonds and uh, I have a total of four suits here and I like to generate a list a list of playing cards that should have a size of 50 D now the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to define a type here. We're going to define a type in Haskell, which is going to be a type of suit. And um, the way I, the the way I can do this is I'm going to use the keyword data. So I'm going to say data suit equals to, and I know it can take four possible values here: spade, hearts, clubs, or diamond. And um, I'm going to say this is uh, equal to equal to hearts, heart, or it could be in this case a diamond. I'm just putting all the four possible values that the type suit can take here. And uh, this could be a spade or it could be a club. Okay, and um, just from a terminology point of view, what we have here is uh, this piece over here, this piece over here, suit over here is basically my type. This is acting as my type here. And uh, and um, these, these entities over here, my heart, diamond, spade, and a club these are acting as four possible values that the type suit can take here all right and um, the second thing I've asked in this question is to is to create a type playing card and uh, we're going to use the same idea as before so I'm going to create a type playing card so this is data and uh, the type over here in Haskell is playing card and the playing card is again is actually my type here is a, is, a, is a type that I'm currently creating but this type is going to take in this scenario is going to take a, a few set of value constructors so I'm going to provide the first value constructor which is basically an ice so just to just to, just to keep things a little bit clear here um, the playing card you can think of a playing card as one such card over here so if I, if I look at this card over here if I look at this card over here which is basically in this case it has a number two and uh, this happens to be space of two there right and uh, if I look at one other card over here so let's look at my um, aces and uh, so if I look at my uh, this card over here which is aces of spades there this actual card over here the actual card the actual card can take on two possible values it's basically in this case taking on whether it's an ace or and in addition to being an ace, it happens to be spades there. <coughs> so for every single value card, for every single every single playing card, for every single playing card, the way I'm going to define this is it basically takes in it, the 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 value constructor is going to be an ace, followed by the actual suit that you can take here. So it's ace of suit, and uh, the other value constructor that I can have here is uh, is king of suit. Right. So these are all my aces there. And um, likewise, I can have all my kings over here. So uh, that's one possible card over there. Or it can be all my queens. Or it could have all my all my jacks there. So ace of suit, king of suit. Or this could be a queen, a queen of suits. Or it could be a uh, what am I missing here? Ace, king, queen, and jack. This could be a jack of of suits there okay but what this means so far is by having these four possible value constructors all I've done so far is all I've done so far is I've taken into account all only these set of playing cards here so I've got my first one over there taken care of I've got the second one taken care of I've got my third one over here taken care of this piece this piece over here this piece over here and likewise everything over here every, each one of these each one of these on my second third and fourth column have also been taken have also been taken care of because as long as I can provide an ace the value constructor ace followed by some suit I can take care of on the first row the first column the second column 
and in this case the last three columns over here and likewise I can kind of do I can kind of do the same thing for uh, for uh, these uh, these folks over here okay so let's just get the ones that have been already been addressed so I've got a total of total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I've got 16 possible cards already taken care of by having these four possible value constructors. But what I really need now is some kind of a slightly different constructor which is going to act in this fashion where I'm going to provide in the value constructor. The value constructor is going to be called a value card. I'm going to have another value constructor which is going to have a name of value card which is now going to take in this is now going to take in some integer. This integer could be less than this number four there, right? And this integer in this case, if you think about it from a logical point of view, it takes in all these values from two to ten, right? All these values from two to ten are the set of integers that the value card value constructor can take in. So it takes in some kind of an integer followed by followed by the actual the actual suit that it belongs to, whether it's whether it's in spades, hearts, clubs, or diamond. Okay, so I'm going to say value card end of of suit there. So that's my first value. Uh, that's my first first type that I just created. This is my second type that I just created here. And I'm hoping that this picture that I put put here um, on my on my blackboard, in addition to these definitions of my value constructors, that hopefully drives the point home as to as to why do I need these specific specific value constructors and how these value constructors are driving or helping me in the creation of each one of these uh, playing cards. And um, one other thing that we've looked at at least in lecture is that each one of these things, so if I look, just highlight them, ace, king, queen, jack, and uh, a value card, each one of these is basically, think of this as a function. It's a function where the functional, the, 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 the type signature for an ace here for an A series is something that takes in a suit, it takes in a suit and it gives you back a playing card. It gives you back a playing card. So the name value constructor is basically very, very, uh, it's, this, it's, this, it's this idea that it creates different kinds of values for you, right? It's creating these different kind of values that all, ha all happen to have a type of playing card. So an ace takes in a suit, it gives you back some value, the value happens to be of type playing card. And likewise, I can do the same thing with a king, I can do the same thing with a queen, can it's the same thing with a jack, right? And each one of these, each one of these over here takes in a suit and it gives you back a playing card. And likewise, the queen works in the same fashion. It takes in a suit, gives you back, gives you back a playing card. And likewise, the jack takes in a suit and it gives you back a playing card. Now, uh, if I look at, if I look at my value card type constructor, if I look at my value card, the way the value card is defined, it's also a value constructor, but it takes in an integer, it takes in a suit, and it gives you back a value of type playing card. It gives you back a value of type playing card. So, so what we're going to do is in the next video, in the next video, we're going to revisit this idea, revisit this problem. But what we're going to do is we're going to use stale recursion in in generating a deck of playing cards.